I am a firm believer that most carpenters, all carpenters, ought to learn as much geometry as they can before they start punching numbers into a calculator, especially with these modern calculators where you can do all kinds of calculations and really not know what's taking place. So how things join together is important, and there's a tradition for that. So traditionally it would be geometrically, and I want to lay out uh, an octagon roof and build it that's three feet wide or on a job site it may be 12 feet wide or larger but it's the same principle and uh, geometrically I think the best way there's three or four different ways but the best way is to make a 36 by 36 inch square snap lines from corner to corner make an X in the center Pull from the corner, swing an arc by driving a nail and pulling your tape as you do on the job to the side. Make a mark. In my case, I'm going to use travel points on a stick. Swing it like this to the side. Two marks per side. And so on. Connect the dots. And those will be the eight different sides. <coughs> it would get chopped here if you were just gonna leave with eight inch door skin. You could plate this on top of the door skin. You could just use this to lay out your plates. Um, it's a good way. Uh, traditionally, you would take 360 degrees and you would divide it by the number of sides and that would give you the angle. So in this instance, 360 degrees divided by eight would give you 45 degree angle. But as a roof framer, we, we operate in right triangles. So we need to know the common rafter run, the hip run, and the plate length between them. And that will give us our triangle. And that triangle is really important because that triangle will help us calculate the rafter length if we were going to use geometry to do so, or a steel square. Best way, in my opinion. 